Hello everyone, it's Chris here from the Southwest Shooters and along with my friends at Crackshot at Sabre Close in Newton Abbott, we're going to be looking at this gun. This is a Wyrak HW110 in 2.2 and it's currently available pre-owned for £849. The gun will come with a warranty because it is over £400 and the boys at Crackshot will happily organise an RFD transfer to wherever you might be in the country, okay? So if you need it, it's there. And really the intention and the purpose of this video is to show you what this gun is capable of. I'm gonna give you some of my insights into the good and not so good points from my personal perspective of, of the gun, because I think that's important, but really it's to show you what this gun is capable of. So if I give you a bit of an overview of the gun and what you'll get in this package, everything you see here so that is the gun itself, that's very important, the bipod, um, a 10 shot magazine and you'll also get a fill probe as well because you'll need to fill it up. It comes with the moderator and that's all you need to get going. If I give you some overview of the gun and my thoughts and opinions, so the first thing that strikes me about this gun is how cool it looks. I know that tastes are personal but I think this looks amazing I always thought that this looked cool even b before ever seeing one in the flesh when I would look at pictures I think that yes I can see myself using one of these it's very light and very pointable which I like and it and it looks amazing it's really simple and easy to use as well um, in terms of the, the the cocking mechanism at the side the only two negatives I have about this gun because I think it's important to be positive and negative in a review demonstration, is that you don't have a massive shot count. So there's a 10 shot magazine that you get with the gun and you're gonna get around 40 to 50 shots when you are in the green. So that is when you're in the optimal fill zone. Some people might want more than that. I do personally, but if you are out in the field, I don't think it would be a problem. I know people that sometimes go hunting and they don't even shoot because there's no, never an opportunity. Um, the other thing that I have always found a little bit cumbersome about these is when you actually put the magazine back in. So there's a little nodule there. I did it right the first time, but it always feels slightly clunky to me. But they're my only real two criticisms. When it comes to it's safe here, the, there's no um, ammo in the gun. It's very, very quiet. I'm only going to dry fire this once more. No recoil and an absolute pleasure to use. But what you want is really to see what this gun is like in the real world. So behind the scenes you're going to see me shooting with three varieties of pellet. Now it's shocking at some points during what you're about to see because the grouping is not good. However there is one pellet that is head and shoulders above the rest and that will be revealed as the video progresses. So what you're about to see is me testing three varieties of pellets and then doing a slightly more in-depth test with the one that works the best and then because the gun is so beautiful I'm going to give you like an overview sweep shot of what the gun looks like just by itself and I think it's stunning. Super well built I have also had a conversation with a very renowned gentleman in the air gun industry who doesn't work for this company and he revealed that when he reversed engineered this gun it was one of the most impressive feats of engineering he'd ever seen. That's true and I'm not going to tell you who that was but I'm going to let you all guess and I'll never comment on this again but that's absolutely true. So. £849, amazing condition, you're going to see yourself in this moment about its accuracy, 2-2 from my friends at Crackshot, a wonderful, wonderful rifle. Take care and I'll see you soon, bye bye. We're here with the Virac HW110 in a beautiful laminate grey stock and we have three varieties of pellets and first of all we're going to test what I can do, and I guess by extension, first and foremost, what the gun can do at 30 meters. 
For this demonstration, I'm going to do a world first for the channel, I believe, and I'm going to shoot from this bipod. Not something that I often practice. I normally use a bench or some kind of rest, but it's on the gun. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we can do. Don't worry that it's not hitting the bullseye. I'm using that as a point of reference for aiming. Oh dear. Not good so far. Kind of a group emerging. Right, I'm out. So, that's a bit of a mixed bag of results, I will be honest. But that's why we test different palettes. So, the next tin are these Bisley Long Range Golds and my hope is at least that there is a more consistent group forming with these Oops. and I guess we'll just have to see what happens but there was a group emerging it might be that that was my first mag it might be that I'm not good at shooting from a bipod who knows, but what we can do is we can test the second variety of pellet. We can see what happens, so let's go. All right, that's reassuring. So it would seem that the gun much prefers these type of pallets. Yes, okay. This could be the last one. Right, there we go. So, that's reassuring. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the busy Long Range Golds forward in order to remember that the fact that this gun seems to much prefer those. Because I've got them here, I have some RWS Super Fields that I will try. And we'll see how these group. These look lovely and clean and shiny when I'm getting them out of the tin. But that doesn't matter if they don't group properly. So in this instance, I would say that the Dabolo fields were, were no good. They don't work well in this gun. So let's see how the RWS do. And then I will at least know... Wow, they group so differently. Damn. Yeah, this this is like a shotgun. This is not 
not desirable. Good grief. Okay, so I think it's fair to say, just let me check. Yep, I was almost out, but. So, the test is complete. Bisley Long Range Golds are the pellet that works well in this gun. So, with that in mind, let me fill it back up and we will do a bit more shooting with Bisley Long Range Golds. All right, so you have to forgive the fact that this looks a little strange in the uh, my rest like this but I'm doing it to kind of try and eliminate as much as possible, at least the human error component, which is me. So we've determined that the Bisley Long Range Golds work really well in this gun, or at least the best out of the pellets that I have available. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how tight that I can get the group on a, on a bench, because I'm just a human, and I'm not the best shooter in the world. Um, and that means that I'm certainly not the best at using a rest as well. So we're gonna see what I can do off the bench. So let's see how I can do here. You would hope that this group would be tighter. This is an amazing gun. Bit high then, I may have rushed, apologies. Okay, great. Here are the results of me using the Bisley Long Range Golds at 30 meters. So there is the group, and you can see that it is pretty much able to be covered by a 20 pence piece so that is the level of accuracy that you're going to be able to expect from this gun shot with these pellets at this distance and i'm very happy with that i think that would equate to the safe dispatchment of quarry and if you're slightly better than me it could be a mean target gun too there you go